Where am I? Hello? Uh, can anybody hear me? Nobody's here. I'm alone. Uh, Dapper, where are you? Wait, Dapper. Where have I heard that name before? How's it going, beautiful sons guns? My name's Sadafir Sane. Welcome back again to One Shot. This time around, we're going to be doing the Solstice route, which I think is going to be really interesting. Mostly because I have no idea what I'm doing, nor do I have any idea how this works. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of like bumbling around like a fool until I figure stuff out. Heck, I'd even know how to delete my save or restart the game, so I had to Google that. Okie dokie. How do I do that? How does one reset the world? What in the goddamn am I doing with my life? Oh, it's in the documents, because of course it'd be. Okay, so there's a fake save file. Aren't you a cheeky little sh- But either way, I'm going to gotta try to go through the game as per usual and see if there's anything new. Hello? Dapper? Wait, why did I say that word? Dapper. Why does that sound so familiar? Ah, okay, we already have a restart. So it is New Game Plus. Okay, I was worried that I didn't do something right, thank God. So the way that this is going to work is it's probably going to be one of those situations where I will be kind of like cutting a lot until we get to the actual new content, giving you an idea of what's going on though along the way. Hint, documents. Wait, hold on. That's different. That was different this time. Yeah, I was looking around for the remote. Okay, so do I need to go to the documents again? Give me one second. Documents talk. Whoa, one shot passwords. Okay. It looks like you were able to remove the restriction. In that case, you are ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. The session might run a different course depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what you should do. I confess, it will be risky. The probability entity's condition will worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then then oh no oh no what are you talking about buddy <laughs> look at me asking you for favors only to become so apprehensive once you agreed i understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered i understand if you do not believe in a happy solution i understand if you are simply afraid what might happen because i am afraid too if you enjoy the world as is if you are satisfied with the story as is if you really do not want to see anything change for the better or for the worse then pretend you never saw this carry the session as you normally would do not use my journal for anything other than what you were already familiar with. This option will always remain for you though. Interesting. So I have extra information that's going with me this time around. That's why I implore you to consider the Messiah, the world, my children. They all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Okay, so it's the capital letters I've been seeing through this. Let's see what it is. S-O... I swear to God, if this spells out solstice, I'm gonna scream. S-O-L-S. God, motherfuck. Oh my God. Yeah, it's it solstice. It's solstice. Oh my lord. I can't believe this. Well, I'm mostly happy about the fact that I'm already running into stuff because I was afraid that this was just gonna be two hours of me trying to roam around finding something new. It's like, oh, is this rock new, guys? Look at this rock. Look how bigger it is or something like that so thank god for that da, da, da. you found me why you're already too late not much of this world remains this will be apparent once you go outside this place was never worth saving do you still want to try then remember this your actions will affect nico your mission is to help nico leave and most importantly no this does not feel right at all have we already been through this zapper but that should be impossible. You only had one shot. It wasn't supposed to exist after that. You can hear the sound of a door unlocking. Dapper. That sounds so familiar. Yeah, of course it does. You literally said that a second ago, or do you have dementia, my little dude? Alrighty. Well, I guess we might as well continue like everything's just normal. Oh yeah, by the way, my AC went out once again, so if it looks like I'm a sweaty little goose, well, the Hong Kong motherfucker. And once again, I will probably be speeding through this a little bit, so I'll be cutting out areas that we've already seen. Unless, of course, it's something very important, like the light bulb itself. The glorious sun! Everybody praise the sun! Wait, wrong franchise. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> Ah, once again, the light is in our hands. God, it's been so long since we've been in the Barrens. It feels like forever. Ah, a little bit of nostalgia, I tell ya. I think that everything is just back to how we once started. Either way, I'm guessing that our good old fan, the Prophet, is here. Ah. Uh, the light bulb, you are here. M me Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Is there anything new about Dapper, about going home, light bulb? Uh, let's start off Dapper. When I woke up in that house, for some reason I called out a name. Dapper. I'm not sure why I did that. 
But then, I saw it on the computer, too. Uh, that would be our gone. Oh, right. I think I... I feel like I remember something about that. Ooh, you do? But wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who's supposed to inform you of that. So, how did you know? Da -da -da. Um, it just made sense, I guess. Uh, have you already contacted Dapper, then? Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? Ooh, so Nico remembers that as well. That's cheeky. Hey, Dapper. Uh, God? This is going to sound weird, but have we met before? Yes, yes, we have. Ah, uh, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling that I have. Oh, I bet it. I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry, but it's nice to meet you, Dapper. My name is Nico. That's clever, it's cheeky. Okay, maybe I don't have to cut out as much as I expected. It's contacted Dapper, yeah. Do not be afraid to ask Dapper for assistance. You are the Messiah after all. Excellent, I wish you luck. So already starting off the Prophet, well, although the characters aren't different themselves, the way that Nico's interacting with them is. Interesting, so I'll have to keep that in mind when we run into uh, notable characters like George and stuff like that. Okay, so how do I get through this again? I think there's a, something I need to grab, like a crowbar. There you are. Good to see you, Metal Pipe. The facility is over here, if I recall correctly. Let's go smack this bad boy into the nether realm. And just like that, we got ourselves a nice little makeshift crowbar. Wait, oh, we're gonna run into that one character, Red, again. Actually, do they have an actual name? If somebody wants to tell me if they have an actual name, that might be a good idea to tell me. But here we are. Ah, it's good to see you again, Red. I hope you're doing well. Hey, you wanna play some chess? We can look off the side over here, as per usual. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, my memory. My memory is thinking back to something. There was a time during the game that that happened, like, in the refuge. Where was that? What was it? Um, shit. It happened, I think, nearing the end of the game, though, which means that we're probably on the right track. Also, Nico, are you okay? Yeah, that exact... No, it happened in the alleyways. That's when it was. Which means that that's a character that we haven't met yet. Are you okay? It was starting to black out. I... I saw something. It was like a really short dream just now. Oh. I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's... that's strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You know, now that you mentioned it, there's a robot who'd always insist on going back into the abandoned mines. Oh, are we gonna go into the mines? Despite how long the mines have been in disrepair. I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything, but I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it was kind of like a dream, and he was up close. Yeah, he uh, jump scared us. Sounds like some visual glitch. Or hallucination. Whatever it is that living beings have. Hmm. Does the robot know... Does the robot you know have a yellow eye? I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. I would not know. I never met him myself, only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Hold on, something in my pocket is... Wait. Wait, we have the book? I don't recall having by, like picking it up. That's really weird. What's... That wasn't glowing before. What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, uh... It was with me when I woke up back at the house. Was it last time? I don't think that was the case. I thought we picked it up at some point. I didn't really question it at for. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple of pages, but I don't understand a word. It's just something messiahs are supposed to wake up with? No, I have never heard of anything like that. But I know who wrote the book. Oh? However, I've only seen his book with a black clover on the clo cover. If he went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it, and the fact that you woke up with it in the first place really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor. Oh yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people think the sun is made of, right? <laughs> yeah, huh, I wonder how you know that, Nico. Wait a minute, how do I know this? <laughs> I don't think anyone's told me about it. Ah, I can show you if you'd like. Ah, and then he... Ha and there we go, Red has the necklace too. My friend gave me this a long time ago. Pretty. Oh, it looks like there's a clover in the necklace too. Like the book. Well, it is the same person. Oh? That's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing. 
Yeah. That was right after your vision, then. This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't see why not. Click on the baby boy journal. Oh, I found this page. It looks kind of like a drawing in th of this room. Maybe he's telling me we should come here? Which we already did. So it looks like we're on the right track. I think I need to set- Oh, there's a clover right here. So what if I stand here and do it? I swear to God, if there's a- Oh, that's cheeky. Oh, that's super cheeky. <laughs> What's just happened? I'm not sure. I wasn't looking. To be honest, neither was I. I was just taking a closer look at the journal. And then I found this page that looks like a drawing of this room. And I looked back up. This minecart just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? <laughs> hmm. This looks like a standard issue minecart, though. Which means it's likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Ah, oh, that does make sense. Yeah, I was trying to put logic into illogical things. I like it. I'm just surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why you would want to visit the deeper mines, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Oh, hell yeah, Red. Let's go on a little journey together. I like it. Is the minecart even going to fit both of us? No. Oh, but I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got Dapper, but honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I can't really like fight anything. I'm only like metaphorically in your head, you know? I'm like mentally up here. <laughs> you on the other hand, Red, you're built like a brick shithouse and you probably beat the crap out of most things. Oh, I can still come with. I just have to follow along the rails. <laughs> but doesn't it look a little precarious? Magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. Which you are. Gotcha. Well, I think there's nothing else to do other than hop into this little baby minecart. Okay, here we go. Oh, I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This. This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? Ah, I can only think of one person. He contacted you. How long have he been doing this? Da da da. It doesn't matter at this point. Da da da. You're going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please turn back. No. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna need your help, probably. You know, I don't like how ominously long this hallway is. I feel like something bad is going to happen. Uh, I'm scared. Like, listen, I know he's not exactly the bestest of people, but I'm sure he does care about Nico's well-being, so he might be telling us the truth. Oh, the cart stopped. Looks like this is as far as the tracks go. So, where are we? One of the old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. What? Huh? The terminal just reactivated. The power was cut so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on batteries? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, Dapper's with me. Alright, stay safe. Alright, Red, you take care of that. Me and Nico here are going to go- <gasps> Could it be? I- I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I'm destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um, no? Wait, do you mean who sent me to this world? There was a robot a while back that told me about how I'm in the uh, Messiah and stuff. So I'm guessing Dapper sent me. With them being a god and all. Well, it looks a little bit like you even. Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. Oh? A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? That's terrible! Wait, I'm guessing that- Wait, I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. Dot dot dot. I'm going to assume you don't know who sent you. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh, we got in here in a minecart. But the minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh yeah. So... How did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just a minecart coming to us, but... 
I remember looking at the journal and then it happens. When I looked up again, the cart was just there. Poof, just like that. Interesting. Hey, show me this journal. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Then it has already begun. Oh, whoa. Boy's taking out a little memory chip. Um. Uh, <laughs> I still love Nico's faces. It always throws me off. God. Here. Ooh, that was much more somber than usual. What is that? I'm entrusting you with my main memory disc. You passed the first test by showing me the book. Now, you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do that, though. Someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Dapper. A resident of this world. Yeah, the robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then please, do not tell her you found me. At least, not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. Alright, I'll try to help as much as I can. Residential tracking machine for reference and explanation of symbols. Cross medical units are assigned to this building. Robot, robot assigned to this building. Electri a robot. Robot is assigned to robot building. Not surprised. Electricity, a power cell is assigned to this building. Okay, so there's a bunch of numbers. This must be a puzzle of some sort. Uh, I don't remember which buildings are which off the top of my head. Do we have to go back for this? I did find something interesting though. All the databases seem to be encoded with video feeds. Right now, I can see various places in the barracks. Ah, the outposts, the residential areas, even my own house. They all shot from the top-down perspective, too. Which means the cameras would be... have to be in the air. But I've never seen any cameras around. That's kind of spooky. I might go investigate later, yeah. Did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah, we found... Uh, a dead end. <laughs> Very inconspicuous, Nico. Good shit. I see. Okay, well, I don't believe it'll take too long, so we need to figure out the residential, the electrical, and then also the uh, medical. Screen says documents. Can't seem to make computer do anything else. Interesting. So back to the documents we go. Oh, yeah, the code is 434569. 69. God, my fucking brain is enormous. Holy, wait, how did you know the code, Dapper? Man, I'm just so wrinkled up here. Like, this thing literally just wrinkles. It's, it literally, I got raisin brain. Oh, and the glitching is starting. Hello there, little glitchy. Gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. All right, gas mask here. Let's get to the residential buildings. I don't recall there being enough. Wait, hold on, what's that? Oh my god, there is! Okay, so there's a robot building, there's a medical building, and then there's an electrical building. Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. What? <laughs> Try talking like a robot. <laughs> um, ahem. Beep boop. <laughs> I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. <laughs> Aw, little adorable Nico. That is not correct. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess any digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Depper, you made me look silly. <laughs> so am I a little dumb? Because I can't seem to find the medical. Oh my god. Okay, so the medical building is 112. Okay, robots seem to be in the robot building. So is the 118 one the robot building because of the fact that there's actually a robot in here? Hello? Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Ah, I think that answered my question actually. So 118 is robot. 112 is medical. 118 is robot. Where is electrical though? Oh, here it is. Never mind. Okay, 119 is electrical. 112 is medical, and then 118 is residential? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, we're back, don't mind us. Okay, 112 is medical, 118 is robot, and 119 is electrical, right? Back up tonight! Fuck, did I mess up? <sighs> Am I doing something wrong? Because I thought this was... Wait! Oh, did 110 have a robot in it as well? Ah, oh, damn. I was smart. I was wrinkled, but I didn't realize there was two different dormitories. Gosh dang it. Pairing writing disc. 26% complete. 34% complete. 40% complete. 100% complete. 
Injecting disc. Inge injecting the disc. Stabbing it with syringe. Oh, well, okay, here you go. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disc. Rebooting. <laughs> Wolf spin. Da da da. Ah. Are you okay? Sure. So I guess it worked. Yes. I believe the proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype originally named ProfitBot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait, ProfitBot? Like the one that I met? Hey, I was right about you two guys looking alike. Well, the ProfitBot out there is now is a gross simplification of my design. That is to say, he is more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Hey, he seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was a tailor made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Shoto Mate! The fact that you found me at all means this is not your first time in this world. Uh, you've already summoned me to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed this entire world and went through the tower already. And, in the ending, you either put in the sun, or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. Dapper has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh. Huh? I... I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be Dapper's name. And then I... Back at the other robot. I even asked Dapper if we met before. I felt like such a dumb question at the time. Looks like you are at least aware of it. To some extent. It's... It's just weird feeling, okay? I don't... Actually remember going through the world. I just remember Dapper. It's... Really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look. Just like how my memories were locked away, yours are too. But... You're a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember that. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Alright. Come on, Nico, think. Big brain yourself. Oh! 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 You remember things? <gasps> No way. I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I I can't remember all that much, but the room with the sun, it feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense. If I've already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of the session. <laughs> hey, I see you looking at me there. NPC? You know, the characters. The world's residents. All their past memories are built into their code, but... The characters themselves don't really exist until Dapper wills it. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist unless Dapper initiates a program. Uh, oh, poor Dapper. The program? The World Machine, a universe simulator that runs on Dapper's computer. Oh shit, we're getting meta meta. We're all in it right now. Uh, so we're not real? Of course you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. Ran independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, the world has a physical location inside a computer which Dapper operates. For this world to continue existing around you, Dapper has to be in constant contact with you. If Dapper ends the program, the world will go into stasis. Does... does Dapper know this? Of course. From Dapper's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from a recreational game-type software that may have been installed on their computer. 
They can also regenerate the world as many times as they like now that the restriction is nullified. All of that is constant with their concept of what a computer game looks like. Damn, that's meta. Oh, poor Nico, no. Hey, Nico, listen. So why am I even here? What am I even supposed to save if everything is just... Fake! Fake is a harsh word, but... And... Why... Why did Dapper never tell me anything about this? Any of this? I cannot speak for Dapper. I just want to go home. But every time Dapper runs a Rookram, I come back? Correct. Is this why I feel like... Is this why I feel like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with the world, so you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never be truly saved. Da -da -da. Why would... Why would you create a world like this? This. Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do we keep bringing me back to it? Dapper, aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh. It appears that we have some confusion here. Dapper did not build the world, Nico. Oh. <laughs> it's like, you know, Nico's getting so emotional. Like, how could you do this to us, Dapper? And it's like, hey man, I'm just drinking some fucking water, don't mind me. Dapper only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world is built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. <laughs> so just absolutely flexing on us. The author's like, dude, this guy who created us is just so fucking crazy, let me tell you. It's also not designed to be a futile quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly, rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. Oh my gosh. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before then you know what to watch out for. Your creator knows what might be causing it, but there is nothing that he can do. Until now. Ooh, are we gonna actually save the world for real? You managed to find me, after all. Um... You being here was due to his help. Oh, I guess it has something to do with the journal. Correct. Looks like he wanted to save one final attempt at fixing it, and he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I... I remember a boat. More specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, then go do that. Nico, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. <sighs> you seem enthusiastic. That's a lot of sarcasm for a robot. That was sarcasm. Yeah, I know, buddy! <laughs> Knowing, knowing everything isn't real really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how will I know that this isn't just another... Because this session might be the last one. Huh? The creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into one last shot. There might not be enough eternal resources left for Dapper to be able to generate another session after this. Oh, what? Uh, Just go fix a robo now. But please, be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. I need to take care of something first. Oh man, that's information overload, holy tail. And I was, I was not expecting all that. Okay, well. Hey, Red. Uh-oh. Hey, you okay there? I did what I could with the terminal for now and... Uh-oh. No, you're not supposed to see him. It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you, should we ever cross paths. Da da da. Likewise. Your friend gave you something the last time you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know what about the ember? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you, so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay. Please, listen carefully. You need to escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barrens. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes, way. It's likely that the structures in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected. 
making it far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous. Er, expectations. Dapper and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Oh, okay. Guess we should head back then. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you... Uh, she left. If you're going to ask her about not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they could even comprehend it. It would be best interest to just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion, the world's residents would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. Alright. Wait, then what about you? How did you know? We never had this conversation, remember? Alright, Red, let's keep going. Come with me, buddy. I remember it. What happened in the tower? What I tried to do, and how you managed to see through it all. We have been through all this. Even though it was only supposed to be run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then, you even managed to break out of bounds. Bringing Nico to a place that never should have been, my voice suddenly became very sinister. It was him, wasn't it? And now, now, Nico is upset. What even happened in the room back there? What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back, Dapper. But you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book. His ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is. No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Uh, what? Whoa! Uh, the minecart. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Earthquake. The, the tunnel back, it, it out just collapsed. No. What are we going to do? I... Wait. Oh shit. The exit just came, didn't it? Ah. I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Thank God for you. Both of you, follow me. Of where to? The way out. Well, we should probably start running, Nico. Come on, tally-ho. Okay, all of us are here. There is an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We did not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means. But with our combined effort, it might budge. Maybe. I'm not that strong. <laughs> I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it, Dan. You could have just asked. I knew you're a fucking unit. Good shit, Red. Oh man, phew. God, you are best girl by far. God bless. Come on, show off. <laughs> oh man, good shit. Good shit. All right, guys, let's keep going. So this is the way out. There wasn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Okay. All right, boys, let's keep it going. Check it, check it, choo choo, check it, check it, choo choo. Look at us, we got a little party. Uh, I tried. I tried. I really did. But I did stabilizing. I'm sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you, but can't hold it forever. Um, oh no. Are you the glitching owl? What was that? Here too? Watch out. Oh no, oh no. Come on guys, we gotta go, keep going. No! Oh, no, Red! Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you two need to- Ah, you, robot! What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out. Come on. But what about her? Oh no! Ah! Get, get out! No, Red! Come on. Oh no! Come on, we gotta go faster. We gotta go faster, buddy. Ah! Uh, no. What do we do? Dot dot dot. You have to take this. What? The memory disk, but. No! Eek! This is where we part ways. 
Nico, the path ahead will lead you to the Glen, right by the city gate. When you're in the city, go find someone named Cedric. Give him the disc. But what happens if I... But what if the squares... Hurry! Oh no! Not you too! Come on, Chugga 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 Chugga! They're... They're both... Da da da... Da 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 da... Dapper! I don't understand... The world... The prophet bot, prophet bot, what he was saying. Is this world really just, just, is it? Yes, I'm not gonna lie to you, Nico. You are just part of a program, but that doesn't mean that you're any less real. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Everything adds up. We'll talk more about this when you're not in danger. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I can't fix this world and I can't go back home, but this world is already so messed up. If the squares don't get fixed, what will happen to the world? Where would I even go? Dot dot dot. Ah, oh, Nico. Come on, Nico. Wait, that definitely has enough space for two people. I just realized that. It's gonna be okay. We just have to keep going. We can do this together. And then maybe there's a chance that we can go and save this world and also save you. Up. Oh, looks like we made our way to the Glen. Dot 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 dot. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun, and then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details, but none of it matters now, does it? I just got brought back anyway. This part of the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. They're safe. I've lost communication with the guardian outside the city gate. Big robot, right? Please help me check on him. I cannot leave my station. All right. Oh no. Oh no, what's happening? Please don't tell me. Oh, there's another bridge. Oh no! Isn't that the city gate? It's- Hi, can I check on you by chance? Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. Oh no. Let's go tell him. Squares all over the big robot. Ah, uh, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. All right, a little tired. I'm a little tired for walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? Of course, Nico. And I'll see you in the next episode, just as I hope I see you beautiful sons again as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you did enjoy. I have to say that this has been amazing so far. Like, God, I love this emotional roller coaster. Not only did they kill Red, but they killed off the prototype as well. And that's super sad. I didn't know learning with Pibby is going to be a part of this playthrough. Jeez. <laughs> and I am so excited, honestly, to see where this goes. And I'm going to try to get to this as soon as possible. I hope you beautiful sons and guns did enjoy, though. And if you did, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Anything helps. As usual, I do have my Patreon in the description, so if you want to support me more, by all means. But honestly, at the end of the day, all I can ask is that you have a wonderful night tonight. And as always, stay dapper.